Hey guys, you're at Show Me Tent. I'm Randy and I'm gonna tell you a story. You don't wanna miss it. It never happens, but it happened. So check it out. So I don't even wanna tell you this, my guy, He's like, dude, everybody's gonna wanna hear this. And I'm like, I don't wanna tell it, but I'm gonna tell you. So listen closely. I'm only gonna tell it once. So a customer's car got stolen off of our parking lot. Yeah, for real. It was the craziest thing that's I've ever happened to me. I don't know if you've ever had your car stolen, a car stolen, your buddy's car stolen. If you've ever played that prank where you move somebody's car, it's about like that, except it's pretty serious. So I'm gonna tell you what happened and I'm gonna tell you how we, how we made it right, what we did about it. So you gotta listen to the whole thing. Let me run you through it real quick and I'll tell you how it went down. So customer brings me 1993, 98, 1998 Caprice Classic. You think I know, a little teaser, I bought one later. The car, he dropped off, he said, dude, I love this car, I wanna build an old school, it's gonna be hip, I, I like, and I'm like, oh, I'm in, the, I'm in the lobby, I'm like, oh, bro, bro, yeah, you're getting me hyped up right now, I'm gonna wrap it green, it's gonna be sick, I want this special green, let's find it, we find it. Brings me the car, I walk outside, and I'm like, what kind of car are we wrapping? It is, he's like, I know it's, I know we got a long way to go, it's gonna need a bunch of body work. And I was like, all right, dude, let's do it, you know? At the end of the day, we're like, all right, let's park, let's park it. You know what I mean? We got to pull it inside the shop, get it ready for the wrap. It breaks down in the parking lot. The transmission, gone. She ain't going nowhere. No good. It's like parked over here in the alley. So like my guy comes telling me, hey, the car's not moving. It's not going anywhere. It's broken. So normally we just push it inside, right? But I spaced it. Totally forgot that the car broke down. In my mind, I told the guy to pull it in. I thought, I guess he thought they either pushed it in already I figured they figured it out. I don't, I don't know because when I was leaving at the night, it's always pretty late or whatever and I didn't see the car. So I was like, okay, yeah, they took care of it. Good job, guys. No, so somebody had pushed it away. Imagine stealing a car that's broken and you and your buddies push it, not to where it goes, but to around the corner down to this old house where it has this fence area. Let me just tell you how the day went down that I found out it was stolen. I get up in the morning, I'm running, I'm playing my whole day in my mind, what I gotta do, and I'm like, all right, yeah, the, uh, I gotta get the priest to the body shop, start getting the hem of that done, and then I'm like, wait a second, the priest, the transmission's broken. I was like, immediately I grab my phone, start calling people, hey, did you pull the priest inside? No, I remember the transmission's out of it. Where was it at? It was in the alley. It wasn't in the alley when I left. Oh no, right? And so I am stressed. I'm like wrapping up my exercise, gotta go to the shop, calling everybody, hey, blah, 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 blah. did you pick your car up? No, blah, blah, blah. car stolen. I have to call, do a police report, trying to figure out where this car is. I gotta call the customer. I have to call him. And the first thing I call him, I'm saying, hey man, so do you have like an emotional attachment to this car? <laughs> or is it just like a, a car, you know? And he's like, he's like, no, nah, I just wanna fix up an old school, make it cool. And I was like, bro, the car got stolen. I'm gonna have to buy you another one. And I'm gonna find you the same exact car, so I'm gonna make it better. And he was like, okay, dude, thank you. That's what he's actually said a little bit more graphically, but that's why I mess with you, Randy, because you're a cool, cool dude, cool ass dude. That's why I trust you with all my stuff. I was like, thanks, man. I really appreciate it, dude. I'll get it taken care of. And now I'm on a hunt for the, I'm like, me and the customer are cool. Project's still rolling. I got one guy shopping for cars. I got another guy looking for cars. I still don't want to let this dude get off on me, whoever took this car from me, because it makes me upset that they stole a customer's car. The craziest thing, like we're walking through the area, talking to neighbors, and one of the neighbors is like, you know, I, I, saw, a, I saw a guy pushing what looked like a half a car up to the scrapyard. And I was like, you serious? And he's like, yeah, there's like two guys, they had a Jeep, they were like pulling, pulling it or something. It looked like a, maybe it was like a trailer. Or, I could see a couple axles. That was about the weirdest thing I'd seen. That's probably related. I'm thinking this is probably the fucking car. <laughs> like, and so uh, I called the scrapyard. They're like, hey, yeah, we got some parts down here. And they're like, track all that down. So I go scope it out. I'm like going over there and I can see the car. It was partially covered up in a tarp. I could see the rear wheel and the part of the quarter panel. And I'm like, that's the car. That's the car. So I'm thinking, well, I'm like, blown out. I'm like, hey man, I'm yeah, I found the car. Let's go. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm sure it's the car. I'm like, 
yes, it's the car. Like, I'm looking at the car. Oh, no, we're going to need to send an officer by to look at the car. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll be over here waiting. You know, and they show up. Yeah, man, we really can't go in there, you know. We don't know for sure if it's a car. And I'm like, you can see it's a car. Look, it's partially covered up. Well, we don't know any. And I get it. You have to do protocols and stuff like that. Like, there, I, I take that very seriously. Eventually, I kind of get upset and I go in there. Like, I'm like, listen, dude, I'm going to go check it out. Because I'll know if it's the car. Because we'd already done some stuff to it. And it's on the side that's laid down. So let me just, let me give you a little description of what I'm walking into. So you understand where this car is at. Like, I'm like walking up on this hill, 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 I'm getting hyped up. Walking up on this embankment. And then you can see this like fence, big, like homemade rackety fence that is just made out of like old pieces of metal or whatever. Honestly, what drew me over there is I could hear this like, banging and chopping and banging like on metal and i'm like guy said he saw a car half a car going down the road i can hear like banging metal and stuff i don't know i'm not super smart but maybe i'll go check this out and i can peek over the fence and i can see pretty clearly and it looks like i don't know if you guys ever seen like mad max or whatever like it is like pieces of cars and flipped over units and hutches and and you know honestly like it looks like people are living back there there's like a few people walking around and then in the corner, there's my car flipped over on its side with a tarp covering most of it. And I see a dude just standing there with an ax like, bah, bah. and I'm like, oh, okay. And he looks crazy. He looks crazy. And he looks up at me and I'm looking at him and I'm like, I do not know it's my car, dude. I'm coming for that thing. And I, I, call the, I call the police. They send the dude out. He says, we can't go by there. I, I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm tripping. You know what I mean? Maybe that isn't the car. Blow it off. And I, I, the next morning I go, like, it's got to be the car. It's got to be the car. I'm looking at the picture I took. I finally get hyped up and I just, I just go over there. And I'm like, I know the owner of the property. I call him and I said, dude, listen, I, need, I think these dudes in here stole this car. I need to go in there and see what's going on. He said, go do it. You know what I mean? Get in there. We go there. The, the people from the scrapyard end up showing up, bust in there, flip the car over. And I had called the police again before that. I said, listen, I know it's the car. I'm tired of this. I'm going in there. And they're like, no, sir, don't do that. And then they end up showing up for me, I think, because I was on the phone. Like, I'm like, no, I'm done with it. I'm not going to let these people steal from me. We're going in there. I didn't even know what I was like. I was just so like caught up in the moment. I didn't even know what I was doing. Like I, I don't know what I, my plan was. I didn't have like a real big plan. So yeah, we got in there and we had to flip the car over and there is nothing left of this car. Like, well, there is a little bit. There's like a trunk. Everything from like the back seats and the rear glass, that's gone. It's all like trunk where the back seats used to be and then like wheels. So here's a picture of it so you can kind of like see what I'm talking about. Wild, wild. And I'm like, you guys chopped all this up with like hand tools. I mean, I'm talking like, that's way hard labor. Like you could totally have a job. Like you could, you could do anything if you could do this. Like, you know what I mean? Literally that's so much work for like pennies, dollars. Very, very few. Anyway, of course, nobody there knew anything about the car. They had no idea what happened. We ended up like tracking down the guilty party by they had turned them some material in for the scrapyard and they have to give your ID and stuff like that. And uh, we've been working through that. It's kind of on and going deal right now. So, but what I wanted to tell you was we ended up purchasing another car for the customer and we're in the middle of wrapping it. And so a little side note, the people that found guilty for this said it wasn't them. It said it was some people that was with them and they were super apologetic to me once I confronted them and was like, Hey, you know, we want to make this right. And honestly, I don't want to be disrespectful, but they don't have a lot going on. You know what I mean? They're obviously in the situation where paying me back is probably not going to be something that happens anytime soon. Uh, but they did offer to like do some labor for me. I felt like it was the right thing to do to give them the chance to pay back what they did. They've been working very hard on some very, like I have an, an old abandoned house. You've probably seen it in a few videos and stuff like that. They've been, tearing that down by hand. Cause I told, I said, dude, if you can chop up a car by hand in a couple days, I got it. You can start chopping this building down and hauling it off. They've actually been working on it. They've been working pretty hard on it, tearing it down. I mean, this is not going to be a couple day job. They're going to be working on that for a month, you know, but it's cleaning up the city, making them pay for their crime 
and it's helping me get a little bit back of the money I invested on the new car that we purchased that we're now wrapping. If you ever think it's just like a normal everyday, like go to work, clock in, wrap a car, go home, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that I don't show you because I'm not sure <laughs> if I should yet. But maybe one day when we're really big and popular, I'll show you all the cool, exciting drama stuff that happens. But I, I do want to show you the car. It's finally getting wrapped. So it's a, it's a bit of a thing around here because this is the Caprice that got stolen, that got repurchased, that looks exactly like the other one but way better, lower miles, better running. It did need a little body work. We went a little overboard with it because we uh, wanted to like make it as perfect as possible for the customer. Customer came up, saw the car that I purchased, loves it, is so excited. Let's show it to you. On this side, not so great, right? It doesn't look from drab, but it's about to get fab. It's just going down, going down. This is the color that he wanted, right? So this is that green I told you about. Look how metallic it is. This thing is going to be hot. And when you see this thing, if you've watched this story, you're going to know there's a bunch of people's lives that this car changed. We had some people that ended up really, whether they felt guilty or felt bad for their actions, at the end of the day, they did the right thing. They're trying to pay back what they did. And that's all you can really ask, you know? And this guy's getting his car wrapped and he's totally cool about it, but I'm sure he's probably ready to start getting it rolling. We're going to throw a new interior in here. My guy Ron's over at Ron's Custom Interior gonna put like an all new matching interior in this thing. I'm telling you this guy's going off the chain on this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun to see it all done. It's gonna be a story that we'll tell around here forever. It was definitely big changes in the industry. You know, we go from working on Lambos to wrapping Caprices. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes, dealing with people, helping people out, trying to do the right thing, you know? And I don't always know what that is. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to do my best every day. So I don't really know if we made the right call on that, but they, they seem to be pretty grateful. The customer's happy, I'm happy, and everybody's happy. So I just had to spend a little money. That's, that was the only bum part right now. I got a lot of money tied up in this Caprice. <laughs> and a lot of times. I hope it turns out as fabulous as he hopes it is too. And it's gonna be cool. So we'll show you a little updated pick later. I don't know if we'll get this uh, jammed out. It's probably gonna go pretty fast. So we'll get this all wrapped up, show you one at the end and be like, boom, wrapped Caprice. From stolen to trolling, you know? I don't know, something like that. But it's gonna be cool. So check it out, make sure you tune in, check out and see what happens next. I appreciate it, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out. We're just trying to grow it, get some car stuff out there. We, uh, we enjoy doing it, and I, I appreciate you checking it out, guys. All right, thanks.